Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, but today we're going to look at the weird and wonderful things in Yoshi's Woolly World. What I have deemed the hidden cruelty in Yoshi's Woolly World. Now the thing to point out first of all is that every time you run around the world there's pieces of wool everywhere, little balls of wool and spools and all of that good stuff. And maybe I'm overthinking this just a little bit, but what are they? All the houses are made of wool, could they be building materials? But all the Yoshis are made of wool. Does that mean that there's little Yoshis kind of on spools and in balls just lying around the world? Can you use Yoshis as building equipment? If a Yoshi, if something were to happen to a Yoshi, could he be repurposed as a house or a bridge? I don't know. I don't really like thinking about that, and I'm probably not the first person to point this out. So instead, I'm going to point out my top three weirdest things about Yoshi's Woolly World. Starting off with number three. Now, I know that this is a video game, and I know that there are enemies in this video game, and I am fully aware that Yoshi is going to have to defend himself against said enemies. Sometimes he's going to eat the enemies and poop them out as balls of yarn and throw them around to help him achieve his objectives within the game, and I'm fine with this. Sometimes he's got to jump on the enemies, and they're going to disappear into little bits of yarn, and again, I am fine with Yoshi defending himself against these evil enemies, but this, ladies and gentlemen, this, I think, verges on cruelty. Now again, I understand that Yoshi has to defend himself against enemies, but setting a trap so the enemy gets crushed to death by a giant cookie, that doesn't help anyone, that doesn't serve some bigger purpose, it's just downright cruel. And that brings me to the second cruelest thing about Yoshi's Woolly World. Now, there is a level, slightly later on, where you end up, instead of throwing balls of yarn around the level to achieve your objective, you throw around little birdies, and it looks a little something like this. Now I don't know if you noticed that or not, but what basically happens is, first you kill their mum, and then you steal the babies and just throw them around the world to achieve whatever weird objective you've got. And I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, but I consider that to be a little bit cruel. Maybe the birds are having fun, maybe they like being used in this way. I can't say that's not true, but I'm willing to bet they don't like having their mum murdered beforehand. <laughs> And that brings me to the cruelest thing in Yoshi's Woolly World. Now, this is particularly cruel because it actually goes outside the game. This goes into the real world. Now, what we often find in these Nintendo games, and it's a cool little feature of them, I pointed it out on my first 10 minutes video that I showed you lovely people. In the loading screens, you have little messages that are written by people, which pop up and you get to kind of read these messages from people as you're waiting for the level. It's quite a nice trick, but one day while I was playing Yoshi's Woolly World, I I saw this one. Now I don't know if you notice, ladies and gentlemen, but on the right we've got one that says, I play this game to help me get over my ex-girlfriend. She's on a date tonight, this I don't like to hear. Now that's not very cruel, that sounds lovely. There is somebody out there who's broken up with their loved one and is finding solace in Yoshi's woolly world. Now that's quite a nice thing. But did you see the message directly next to it? Let's have a look again. Mm -hmm. 
That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The message next to it says, I love this game and I play it with my girlfriend. So, no longer are we helping some poor chap get over his ex-girlfriend. The game is actively mocking him. Not Yoshi, not the fictional characters. The game, maybe even Nintendo themselves, are actively mocking him. Although I have no actual proof of this. It could just be a coincidence. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, it seems pretty gosh darn cruel to me. Now, if you've noticed anything cruel about Yoshi's Woolly World that I've missed, please pop it down in the comments. Or if you've got other games that you would like me to look for the hidden cruelty in, pop it down in the comments. And I'm hoping to do more of these videos as we go on with this channel. As always, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you lovely people for more video game related content in the very near future. My name is Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays. Hey.